our Sunday spotlight shining on the creators of Showtime's hit thriller Homeland, a high stakes drama whose plots parallel many of the national security issues we've been talking about this week, from drone strikes to terror threats at home. Howard Gordon and Alex Ganza reveal how they came up with those fascinating storylines, plus a sneak peek at season three. My name is Nicholas Brody. And I'm a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. What story could possibly have animated an American soldier, in captivity or not, to have become a traitor or to have gone to the other side? And the idea of Brody having gotten close to his captor's son. A drone missile hit and destroyed part of a compound in the mountains of northern Iraq. For that son to have been killed among other children by a drone strike, we felt, well, that's something that would actually take somebody and make them think twice about who is good, who is bad, what's right and what's wrong. You clearly have some strong personal views about, about well, the drone I, 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 I don't, my only strong personal views is that it's a very complex issue and that there are no good answers to it. I mean, war is a messy business. I'm only a television writer, so I don't pretend to be an analyst. I'm grateful some of these choices aren't mine to make. I mean, you say you're a writer of television, but it's pretty profound television. Well, it, it, well I, think, I think absolutely. I mean, what we'd love to do is present the complexity, not in a reductive way and not, in a, not as a polemic or as a propaganda, but simply to sort of present the complexity of the issue and let people do their own thinking and bring to bear their own you know, consciences and their own thinking about a subject. There's so. this moral ambiguity yeah. in a lot of those characters, a lot of those obviously. Characters, yeah. uh, it's based on an Israeli show, which were, what was about these two returning soldiers. But we took from that the idea of, of how come there's no soldier returning from war on American television who's not... The perfect hero. The perfect hero or, or a dark, broken guy who's, you know, who's, who's sort of, you know, uh, uh, some vigilante on the streets of New York or something. And that was the core of our interest in the show. You have Homeland, so many people like it, and they can incorporate that with watching the news. Is there any part of you that worries that the only place they will see it is on television in a fictionalized account? I mean, do you feel some responsibility? Yes, we do feel some responsibility. We do absolutely search our consciences as a group, as a group of writers, and say, if this is untrue in some way, or if this is a dangerous idea or an irresponsible idea. <laughs> If the story is better told that way, or more incendiary that way, are we being incendiary for the sake of being incendiary? Do you ever think, oh, President Obama might be watching tonight? You know, I would say so, but I don't think we'd go into the room saying, what, what is the president? What do we want to tell the president? <laughs> we just hope he likes it, keeps watching. Alex Ganza is co-creator of the show. He spoke to us from North Carolina, where the team has just begun shooting the highly anticipated third season. We also tend to be real wonks about this kind of stuff. We, we love to talk about it and spend, I, I would argue, more time, you know, debating world events than we do actually talking about the Homeland story. Abu Nasir's bomb maker told me an American prisoner of war had been turned. Ultimately, if you would ask me why the show is successful, I think it's because of Claire Danes, Damian Lewis. Had you believed this? And, uh, Mandy Patinkin. Somebody actually came up with that language. I think those actors are, and all our cast, frankly, you know, are, are, are so engaging and so committed um, that they're, they're hard to take your eyes off. Going forward, I know you're not going to give away any plot lines, anything you want to say is for next season? I'll let Alex do that. <laughs> the issue in this season is, you know, what happens uh, if it were learned that a major attack on the United States was sponsored by a state? These are the big concerns that we're going to deal with in the first in the first sweep of episodes and then there's the big question about you know where Brody is back in the woods it seems to be our place does anybody know that Carrie helped him get out of the country and will they ever see each other again you're not coming are you and there are a couple more surprises down the pike I've spoiled a little bit already <laughs> Our thanks to Howard and Alex. Homeland premieres in September on Showtime. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the names of three soldiers killed in Afghanistan. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight. 
We leave you on this Memorial Day weekend with images this morning from Washington's World War II Memorial. Remember.